The center of the storm is just about to cross onto land. It's a category 3, 125 mile per hour winds with this. I was just checking in on the storm surge around the Tampa Bay area. It's about 5.7 feet above what the normal level would be uh, about this time of morning. So it's significant as far south as that point, but of course the surge much higher as you get a little closer to the center of the storm and all that water just being funneled right into this Big Bend area of uh, northern Florida. And so there's the center and again it's continuing north. It's actually going to move relatively quickly as far as tropical systems. So that's the little bit of good news with this is that it should continue to plug along and then by the afternoon it's going to be more so around South Carolina and these areas will already be dry later on today, but they're getting all the wind. They're getting the surge. They're getting the heavy rain. We've seen a few tornado warnings in parts of Florida and Georgia this morning because of the just nature of all the swirling winds we have going on right here. And then again, as you head farther west, of the storm, there's drier air being pulled in behind it. We're feeling that all the way here in Texas and here in Houston today, where we got a pleasant feel this morning because of the lower humidity. Look at temperatures north of town. Cypress to the woodlands at 70 degrees. Splendor is at 69 right now. That's the impact of the drier air. Even down to Missouri City, it's 70 right now. Out towards Katy, Sugarland in the lower part of the 70s. We've got a 65 for the current temperature in Conroe. Now, with the dry air and the dry ground, and the northeast breeze today at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, there is an increased risk for wildfires and grass fires to get a little out of control. So we have that red flag warning or fire weather warning in effect for everyone except the immediate coastline uh, because of that today. Now again, it's going to be a hot one, but at least it's a dry heat. Temperatures top out around 100. Really not much of a heat index, though, so it really won't feel any hotter than the actual temperatures. Not much change in our weather the next few days. More sunshine, more highs around 100. Lows will continue to drop down towards the mid 70s for most of us in the morning hours. We do see the humidity starting to return this weekend, and eventually that could start to lead to some rain. We have a slight chance Sunday, a little bit of a better chance by Labor Day on Monday.